The world wants to know, all, all the guys want to know, how did you get the Laker girl? How did you get the cheerleader? How did you get the Rams girl? How did you get, you know, the Sun Devil? Okay, tell us, tell us, give us the key. That's a <laughs>
funny story. Um, I had just left my very first Reno Latin Dance Festival. I was on my plane back home to LA and I was so inspired that weekend. Shout out to BB. Um, so inspired by that festival. And I remember sitting on a plane and I just started typing. And at the time, it Empowered Movement came to me because I realized that weekend that there's so many incredible people out in this world. And there was so, and when I say the world, I mean the bachata scene mm -hmm. or the salsa scene, the dance scene in general. Yes. And I was just like, I felt so empowered. Like they made me feel empowered by their movement, right? Wow. And so I started typing on my little, um, my little pad at the time. I was typing and I remember I was like, empowered movement, like that sounds good. But I was still dancing for a different company at the time. Mm -hmm. My whole thing with empowered movement, I was going to start workshops for women to become empowered through the love of dance. Um, but six months later, we ended up um, using that name mm -hmm. for our dance company, and I had already bought the domain, I had already um, made the email, mm -hmm. I had already done the Instagram, so I had everything ready, but no product to put with it, right? And mm -hmm. so when we decided that we were going to start the dance company, I was like, I have Empowered Movement, like, let's just let's call it Empowered Movement, and it just... I always believe that everything happens for a reason, and an Empowered Movement just kind of felt right at the time. Really cool. And now we're known as Empowered Movement, but also EMDC, and um, it's something that we stand by within the company. Like, did that empower us? Like, does this choreography make okay. us feel good? So it's something that we use in our like everyday vocabulary Very within cool. the dance company. I love that. Miguel, you want to piggyback on that? Yeah, and uh, it, we both just love, you know, um, working with people and helping people in any way we can. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe that what other um, better way than to empower others through dance? Okay. Um, so every time, we, every every season, we ask our, our team members, um, what is it that you want to get out of the company? And a lot of them, it's their first time performing, or they have stage fright, or they have anxiety, or they get nervous. And that's something we work on throughout the season, not just the dancing, um, but also those other things that they want to work on. Yes. And that's why we use that name to empower them, so that they only they don't benefit not only in the, on the uh, on the stage, but their regular yeah. lives, you know, daily daily life. So. Really, really cool. I love all that. And if you guys check out their website, one of the other things that was mentioned big time on that is building up their confidence. And I, I would have to attribute so much of my confidence building, you know, to dance. Like, I literally used to go into the salsa club, take the class, finish the class, and then I'd be off to my house. I mean, like, literally would not ask anybody. And, um, you know, things are a little bit different now. <laughs> so, um, so definitely, I love that your group is doing all that, okay? Okay, so you guys want to get to the juicy part, right? All right, this, this is what I came for, all right? Because, gentlemen, this question's to you. Ladies, we're not going to leave you out. We have a question for the ladies in a little bit. But, um, so this question is directed to Miguel. Miguel, all right, I, the, the world wants to know, all, all the guys want to know, how did you get the Laker girl? How did you get the cheerleader? How did you get the Rams girl? How did you get, you know, the Sun Devil? Okay, tell us. Tell us, give us the key. That's an Jump embarrassing man. question. <laughs> just make them work for it, you know? Whoa! <laughs> no, I'm, just, okay. I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. No, I think a tip for the gentleman would be um, just be yourself. Um, be the genuine person that you are. I think we're all genuine people in our own ways. And I think when you try to be someone else just to, you know, attract another person, that's, that's when everything else fails. And with her, I mean, I, I was just myself. I'm a very goofy person. I, I love joking around a lot. And, and I didn't hide that from her. Um, and I guess that's what she loved. <laughs> and, um, you know, just be yourself. Be genuine. Um, don't try to be someone that you're not just to, you know, find love. Um, cool. And then I was just myself around her. And I guess she, she found it attractive. And <laughs> that's how I got the liquor going. And I also stopped giving her attention here and there when she was craving the attention. Stop. But... You know, I guess the ladies, you know, like that when, when the guys give them attention and they stop and, you know, how that goes, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. That's... I love that. Gentlemen, I hope you guys took notes. All right? All right. This question is for the ladies now. Well, even for some men. Men like my... Men dance pretty sexy out there, too. Mm -hmm. So, Aubrey, you've, you've mastered the craft, the skill, 
the ability to keep it classy and sexy on the dance floor, okay? I've been able to take some really great footage of both of you guys dancing, and I mean, their dance is intense. I mean, you could feel the connection, you could feel the passion, you could see what they teach to their students, check out their performances, you know, they're on the IE social page. Uh, just some really, really good connection, and there's like just more to the dance. I mean, just the, the emotion is there, you know, the emotion is there, and your facial expressions are on point. Okay, so um, tell me how or, or give us some tips on, on how to do that. Keeping it classy, but sexy on dance floor. Because it's easy to get too sexy and ratchet, right? <laughs> I said it. I said the word ratchet. And, um, but but there's, there's a fine line um, on, on where it, it, it remains classy. Give us some tips for that, please. Well, dance to me is always communi communicative, right? So it's like when I'm dancing with someone, I'm not... I'm not going to communicate a different intention than what I'm truly trying to feel, I if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So when I'm dancing, my sole purpose is to be there dancing. It's not to be like up on someone. So I'm very clear and direct with my body movement, meaning I won't touch my body if I don't want him to think I'm doing it for him uh, or her, whoever I'm dancing with. Yeah. Or when I'm dancing in front of someone and they're behind me, I'm not going to stand right in front of them. I'm going to stand to the side. And depending you know, how advanced they are, maybe they don't know that a woman or the follow should be right in front of them. It, it should be directly to the side. Yes. You know, so it's just, it's the way that you communicate, you mm -hmm. know. You don't need to look anyone in the eyes and do all this with their face if that's not what you're feeling, mm -hmm. right? So I'm just very real when I'm dancing, okay. that it's a dance, and I'm going to be sexy, but I'm going to keep it classy as well. Okay. Really, really cool. I love that. Those two questions, guys, I suggest you go to the beginning, take some notes on that. So next question, folks, and I love asking people this question because, um, well, it's just interesting to see what people say, all right? So you guys are a very young couple, right? Um, young as far as how, you know, your team is concerned, right? What, a year or two, maybe? A year. A year, okay. A year. All right. So a year and a month. A year and a month. But you guys have accomplished a ton, okay, in your dance and in, in establishing a, a dance company. Um, recently performing at the salsa at the New York salsa festival props to you on that it's not just like something oh I'm gonna go perform at the salsa festival in New York like you guys did it you know so congratulations to you and your team I think you guys took a really good like if not all of them like a good chunk of them right yeah, yeah. about half of our team okay yeah. so I, I saw the video it's awesome um, um, and you guys come with the energy I love all that um, so the question is this um, Knowing where you guys are now, knowing all the hard work that it takes to to get to where you're at and to keep pushing forward to the next, you know, your next accomplishments and, and that sort of thing, what advice would you give yourself if you could go back 10 years from today? So, Miguel, you say you're 24? 22. 22. That's a young guy right here. <laughs> 22. If you could go back to your 12-year-old self, your mini bachatero self, okay, what advice would you give yourself? I think just stay hungry and, and always uh, work hard and never forget to be um, a student. I think um, it's very important that as instructors we remind ourselves that, that we're always learning and we're always growing and it's always important to, to you know, stay humble and take classes from everybody you can. Um, respect the people that came ahead of you, all the instructors. Um, and I learned it this weekend because, you know, um, this weekend in New York, we, we were actually students with our students. And, and that felt really nice to, to take class. And um, So my advice to myself would just be, um, be humble, stay humble, and never stop learning and keep growing. Really cool. Be students with your students. That's like the yes. big takeaway from that. I love that. I love that. Aubrey, how about yourself? I just want to piggyback off of him. Sure, sure. Because the mm -hmm. reason we did the New York International Salsa mm -hmm. Congress was because we are not a salsa company. And we're not salsa dancers. We don't, we don't teach it. We don't um, mm -hmm. brand ourselves in that. And um, we want it to be in a different light. We want it to be students. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we preach to our students is 
don't ever stop learning. Mm -hmm. And um, I love what you said, actually. <laughs> like, I love it. Sorry, I'm cool. just giving him props yeah. because I, I love it. It just made me feel good when he said it because it's yeah. true. We really were students. Mm -hmm. um, something I would tell myself is to own it. I think that one of my biggest struggles, especially within this dance scene and then, you know, Laker Girls and Rams and the commercial scene and the professional world in general is that I'm, there's times where I'm like, I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can do that. And even though people on the outside don't see that, mm -hmm. It's, it's a struggle that I've had since I was younger, you know? I don't have the hips for bachata, I don't have the this for ballet, I don't have this for labor girls and this, and and if there's anything that I could tell myself when I was 14, because I'm 24 now, um, was to just own it. Own it, be who you are, because people are going to believe in you as long as you believe in you. Awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> I love that, own it, folks. So much great advice by such a young couple. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the lightning round. And the entire purpose for this is to try to catch them off guard. They did not, I did not pre-script them on this. <laughs> These questions, I did not let them see it. So let's hope no arguments come from this. Oh no, uh, we're <laughs> And then we'll, we'll let's see how they, oh, how they do, all right? So, um, oh, man. Um, so the first questions are they're gonna be easy. We're just gonna warm up into them, okay? I know. I feel like I need right. like. Warm up. <laughs> um, okay, we'll start with this one. Ladies first. A book every dancer should read. A book every dancer should read. Oh my gosh, I have so many in my head. I can't even think. Hold on. Let me look. Willpower. She, okay, she's she Will looks back at her books right now. Yes, yeah. I know. My books are right here. Yeah. Willpower. It okay. is amazing. And it just it the book I don't wanna I don't wanna give it away. But the book No, give it to us. Come but the on. book basically talks about yeah. like you you are your own willpower. You know, you are your own being, you are your own person, and you just gotta go. No matter what world you're in, oh my gosh, one of I haven't okay. read that in about a year. But okay. amazing book and um if you want to read it, I have a copy. <laughs> Boom! She's going to We can do a book club. There you but go. Willpower. Empowered Movement Dance Company Book Club. <laughs> Watch out! Coming to a Oprah bestsellers list near you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Miguel. How about yourself? I stole this one from Aubrey, and I don't know if it relates a lot with it, with dance, but this mo this goes more for the people that are trying to start and you know that have their doubts about going to salsa bachata. Um, she is actually reading a book called "You Are a Badass." Excuse my language. <laughs> <laughs> the art of bad ass. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, that's the name of the book. <laughs> um, I think sometimes, especially with me, I had my doubts about going into dancing and because I I, I didn't feel like. I would see all these instructors and, and you know, it, it'd be intimidating and, and I'm like, I, I'm never going to be able to do that. Um, but as I read that book and I started reading some of the pages and um, it just, like she says, it tells you just to own it, like that we're all special people and we all have our characteristics that make us ourselves. And what makes um, instructors special is they have traits um, just for them that makes them special. You know, everyone has their own uniqueness, yeah. and everyone has something to offer. Everyone has a different style, um, and so this guy's 22. <laughs> you hear these knowledge bombs he's dropping right now? For real, keep yeah. it going. And so this, this book yeah. kind of like you know is inspiring, um, and I would recommend anyone to read it um, because if you have your doubts about you know dance or anything in specific, um, it it just it just shows you that you really are. A great person, and you and you have so much to give. Okay, so that's my. I love advice. it. Really, I like really, it. really cool. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna start with Miguel on this one. A movie every dancer should oh, see. Oh man, there's a lot of good movies. Um, growing like uh, when I first started dancing, I would I would be in love with the Step Up movies. Okay. Um, all of them. Um, they're just so they 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 made me want to dance, and um, so I would say Step Up. I know there's other good ones. I'm sorry. I, I, I really don't watch a lot of movies, okay. to be honest. But I remember watching uh, Step, Step Up back to back, and then I would see them back to back. And nice. Just because it, it just like, adds a different flavor to it. There's a little bit of everything in, in those movies, and I really like them. I cool. enjoy them watching them. Cool. Step Up. How about yourself, Aubrey? I don't have a specific movie, but a brand of movies, and okay. that's Disney. 
I always, yeah. whenever I need to, like, I feel that I need to be humbled, I'll watch. And when I mean humbled, like, pulled back down to earth, you know? When life feels like it's kind of crazy, mm -hmm. especially with that, I've taught the world and, you know, having practice and then travel and then performing and this and choreo. And then, whenever I need to be pulled back, I'll watch a Disney movie, whether it's Mulan, who takes on the world and saves China, mm -hmm. or Pocahontas, when she sets barriers in, you know, falling in love with a white guy, even though she's Indian, you know? Yeah. It's against... Mm -hmm. It's against all odds, right? Mm -hmm. In their time, wherever, whatever it is. Um, but Disney movies, I feel, always have such a deeper meaning than the movie itself. And so I love sitting there and watching and just feeling it like, yeah, if she can do that, I can do that. Or if he can do that, I can do that. You know? Really, really cool. D Disney movies, you're right. They have a way of doing that. I get that feeling, too. Shout out to my nephew, Max, who's always watching something, you know, <laughs> kid-related. Um, all right, so here we go. Next question. We're gonna go. We're gonna jump to Miguel here. Okay. A perform. I mean, a celebrity. Let's just say you're in the club, whether it be bachata club, hip hop club, whatever kind of club, and a celebrity is there, and you can ask this individual to dance. Who would you want that celebrity to be? It could be anybody in the world. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> J-Lo, like, three for three on these questions. Let's go. Everybody wants to dance with J-Lo. Man, she dances so good. Okay. And she's you can beautiful. say, I know you were going to say sexy. And, and she's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and she's a very beautiful okay. person. All right, cool. How about yourself, Aubrey? Will Smith. Will Smith. Why Will? Have you seen him dance? He can sing. He can dance. He, he can... He can do it all. He's incredible. Oh, uh, oh my gosh. I could... Oh. She means Miguel Smith, by the way. <laughs> oh, she means Miguel Smith. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's jump into the juicy part here, okay? All right, me. This question is for Aubrey first. Aubrey, <laughs> what is your pet name for Miguel? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I call. <laughs> uh oh, is it is it PG? No, is it's P PG. Oh, okay. It's PG. Mm -hmm. I call him. He said it, he. I call him Jungle. <laughs> Chango, did you catch that, people? Chango, that, that's a lot of love right there. Yeah. I we, this is a lightning round, so we're not gonna elaborate, but but um, <laughs> we're gonna don't. we're gonna have to. Okay, please don't. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Miguel, your pet name for Aubrey? Uh, Changuita. <laughs> Changuita. So Chango and Changuita, are pretty much a happy monkey clan tribe. You know all okay. that good stuff. All right. <laughs> so who takes longer to get ready? <laughs> okay, so pretty conventional here. You, you'd be surprised. There are some couples where the guys like the diva, um, but all right. So Aubrey <laughs> takes a longer. Who? She who, definitely does. She definitely does. Okay. We're always late to something because of Aubrey. Okay, so we already know. <laughs> all right. Um, so it's true. Who is more likely to dance? I mean, to sing in the shower. Aubrey. <laughs> Aubrey? Yeah. Okay. I swear my shower has special powers because I sound like Whitney Houston when I'm in there. I can okay. hold any note in my shower. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. Who has a better sense of fashion? This is for questions for both of you guys. Whoever wants to answer it first. Miguel. Wow. Miguel. Really? I would say Miguel. Miguel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just, yeah. Wow. Uh, I wouldn't Really, he always really looks, cool. I mean, if you guys have seen him out dancing, he always has his cute little shirt on with his little pants and his little boots. He always looks so cute. Cute little pants with his cute little <laughs> shirts. Oh, cute little I always saw that, and I always saw him with his cute little hips. Okay, with his cute little hips. Oh my goodness, here we go. Oh my god, you guys are killing me. You asked. Hey, do you guys feel all the cheese? All we need is the wine I for know. all of you. Yeah, it's cheesy, but it's good, it's good. I think you guys are going to enjoy this interview. Alright, who liked who first? <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I, I definitely liked her first. I definitely okay. did. Um, I think um, the first time I met her, I think it was more like the of the attractiveness and the, the um, you know, I just found her attractive and that's what I liked about her first. And then I began to know her and then that's that's what did it for me, her personality. And, and I think I did the move first, so I asked her on a date for sushi that I don't even like sushi. And Damn. she, and that's when I knew I liked her, so I asked her on a date. She rejected me for a year. <laughs> wow, a whole but, year. This guy putting in work. But I stopped giving her attention and then she came back. <laughs> so gentlemen, okay, no. <laughs> tip right there. No, no, no. <laughs> here we go, we're gonna clear this up right here. Okay, we were doing really well, so we keep going back to that. Okay, so Miguel, all right. 
Who is the cheesy one in this relationship? Okay. This one right, right. here. You, gotta be right. He went to eat sushi. Like he don't even like sushi. He like sushi. Aubrey, elaborate. Yeah, Miguel is. He he's amazing. All right, cool. I love him. Yeah, he, he <laughs> probably brings you Disney movies, right? He's just so, like, he just makes me feel so special all the time. Wow. All the time. Catch like, that. if there, if you ever find a man or a woman that just makes you feel so special all the time, you hold them close because they're just so rare, and he's amazing. I love that. <laughs> great, great. Did you guys catch that? Nice work, Miguel. You get ton of props here, okay? <laughs> um, Alright. This one might... Okay, this is a juicy question. Who is more likely to say I'm sorry first? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That changes. This changes. Okay. It changes. But right? it's mostly me. <laughs> I'm the type of person that when I say something... I, I try to uh, control myself, but if I, if I'm very passionate about an argument and I'm really mad, like okay. I'll, I'll speak out of frustration. Okay. But I'm the type that a minute later I'll be um, apologizing. That happens with my family, with my friends, with her, with anyone. You know, I'm I'm very I'm always the one to say sorry. Um, even if if uh, if I'm the one that's right and the other person is wrong, but I hurt someone. Yeah. I'm always sorry. <laughs> Wow, yeah. wow, even if the other person is wrong. He's dang. not talking about me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not Aubrey, <laughs> <Not Yeah>. though. <laughs> okay. All right. But well, yeah, it does change sometimes. She, she'll she'll apologize. And she, she knows, like, when she'll hurt my feelings or something. Okay. Yeah. So there's a mutual understanding, it sounds like, and yeah. respect. Very, yeah. very good job. So that does it for the lightning round. I really liked all the answers to this. Very interesting, a lot of cheese, but very I funny know. too. Very, very funny too. So so thank you guys for doing that. All right, so we're coming down to the last part of the interview here. Tell us about your upcoming projects. What do you guys got going on? All right, so after this trip, we came back inspired and, and um, like I mentioned earlier, we, we want to get back to being students. So um, we talked a lot, um, we reflected a lot, and um, this is not a project, but we, we definitely want to take, um, you know, privates with other instructors and, and different genres and um, that's one of our, you know, our main goals. Okay. Um, we, we have our Power Bachata Social coming up September 22nd. Um, right. That's one of our, the other project that we have with uh, Mr. Luis Aragon. Um, we shout also out. have, shout out, uh -huh. um, in two weeks, or in ten days I believe, we leave to the Aventura Dance Cruise. Um, that really goes cool. from Long Beach to Ensenada. So we'll be um, teaching and performing, and we'll be taking some of our team members. Um, Very cool. I've always wanted to go on a cruise. This is my first one, and I'm glad like it's doing it's um, with through dance. So I'm excited for that. And that's awesome. We also have um, Canada in November, so that's that's exciting as well. Canada in November, wow. Canada in November sounds we'll, cold. We'll be yeah, <laughs> Vancouver. We'll be out teaching out there and. Um, we have the LA Bachata Festivals. We have Reno, which we're excited about. Um, this new season, we're taking our teams to perform at Reno. That actually be the first festival that we perform at. Um, but we're definitely, um, you know, uh, trying to grow and, and and learn and never stop learning. So that may, hopefully many more projects come about. Never stop learning. Yeah. I love that. Uh, Do you want to piggyback on anything, Aubrey? No, he pretty much said everything other than the IE Social that's coming Edwin. up this Saturday yes. of course. with the wonderful Edwin. And we'll be celebrating his birthday, so we hope to see you there. Yeah. Oh, your ladies better be lining up for Edwin. Hey. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, thank you for the shout out. Um, all right, so tell us what is the best way that people can connect with you? So. You know, is it through your website, social media, whichever way you guys feel is the best way to connect. How do you guys like people reaching out to you guys? Um, you can find us on empoweredmovementdance.com. Uh, um, you could also find us through Empowered Movement Dance. It's our um, Instagram. And then you can call or text us. All of our stuff is on like Facebook or mostly our website is where all of our information is. So mm -hmm. yeah, or just look up Miguel or Aubrey and on Facebook, okay. Instagram, everything. Snapchat. Snapchat. I don't have Twitter. <laughs> yeah, but MySpace. No, Wait, your Snapchat face. is Miguel and Aubrey? 
Oh, oh no. no. Oh, okay. No, we have separate. Oh, separate. Yeah, separate. Okay. That would have been we really cool. We would annoy people if we had yeah. Aubrey. Oh, like, That's too much the cheese. Whole time. Too much cheese. Too much cheese. <laughs> too much cheese. <laughs> well, that does it for this interview, folks. Thank you so much for viewing this. If you like this interview, why don't you do like a body roll on it and smash that like button or hit a love or a <laughs> wow you know if you didn't like it write down in the comments i dare you write down what you didn't like about it hey i listen i read all the comments because i'm really big on making sure these interviews contribute to dance and and then you get to know a little bit about the people who are going to be your performers and um this following saturday they will actually be your workshop instructor <laughs> Get ready for that sexy bachata brought to you by Empowered Movement Dance Company, Aubrey and Miguel. Any parting words? Um, just uh, going off based off of that about the comments. If you guys have any comments for us, um, any questions, um, even tips. If you guys have seen us perform, um, if you're an instructor, um, or if you have taken our class, please give us you know uh, feedback on what we can improve, what we can do better. We would um, love that. We would love that. And um, we just want to give a huge shout out to Edwin because he's what he's doing is amazing. Just yeah. getting this is not on camera, but um, we got to know him a little bit behind the cameras, and what he does is just amazing. So make sure to support the IE Social, um, and thank you for coming out here and doing this with us. That. Much love to you guys. Thank you so much. Feel the love, feel the cheese here. All right, <laughs> feel the cheese. We're gonna pop on a, a, a Disney movie, right? Yeah, now. right. Seriously, now. we're all gonna be here as yes. one big happy family. It's be Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. Time. We got all the right? popcorn, pizza, everything ready. For real, <laughs> for real. So again, thank you guys for having me out. I feel really lucky, and I e get ready because this Saturday is gonna be um, how you young folks say it's gonna be lit. <laughs> All right, so Liddy, Liddy, Liddy. Ooh. Liddy. that's my favorite. Liddy, Liddy, Liddy. it's gonna get Liddy. Like when when we have performances, we're gonna get Liddy. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get Liddy. Liddy. How do you spell that? L i t t y. L i t t y. We're gonna put that right Liddy. here. Liddy. Liddy. All right, folks. Peace out. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>